Hi everybody, please subscribe to this channel and like the video to support my project and we are starting a new adventure. He built the Pantheon and the Temple of Venus in Rome. He was a humanist and lover of Greek culture. He was uh, the third of uh, the so-called five good emperors. Today we will talk about the Emperor Hadrian and will visit his villa. Born Publius Aurelius Hadrianus in Italica, modern Spain, Hadrian is best known for his substantial building projects throughout the Roman Empire. He is also remembered for his love affair with the Bentinian youth Antinous, whom he defined after the young man's death, resulting in the popular cult of Antinous, which early on revealed Christianity. Hadrian was Emperor of Rome from 117 to 138 AD, and he is recognized as third of uh, the five good emperors, who were Nerva, Trajan, Hadrian, Antoninus Pius, and Marcus Aurelius. This villa was built between 118 and 138 AD, and is the largest villa ever owned by a Roman Emperor. This place is called Maritime Theatre. Hadrian was interested in art and architecture. He personally participated in the design and structural plan of this place. Here was a private retreat for the emperor. The Maritime Villa was a truly villa which in villa. Here Hadrian created his own ideal domus. And here were the removal portable bridges, so the emperor could be inaccessible in this place. The Philosophy Hall. This room was used for uh, meetings with the most important politicians. It was covered with red marble. On the wall there were seven niches where were represented seven philosophers. Hadrian was a well-educated person. His childhood he spent uh, in his hometown of Italica, Hispania. It's a territory of modern Sevilla. His father was a senator, so he had the possibility to give a good education to his son. When Hadrian was 10 years old, his father died, and this time he was sent to school in Rome and taken under the care of Trajan. Hadrian's admission for Greece began at this time and uh, would associate him with the country and culture throughout his uh, reign. Even in the present day, Hadrian is often mistakenly identified as a Greek. First military service of Hadrian was as a tribune under Emperor Nerva, and he was selected to bring uh, Trajan the news uh, that he was uh, Nerva's successor. When uh, Nerva died, uh, Trajan accessed uh, to the throne. And actually, Emperor Trajan was uh, the first Roman ruler of provincial origin. Uh, both uh, Hadrian and uh, Trajan were of uh, Spanish ethnically. Here were guest rooms. Area of the villa reserved for the middle rank in court, uh, for example, officers. Here was a white uh, corridor with a white mosaic floor with a black crosses, onto which were opened areas of bedrooms.
Trajan died uh, on campaign of uh, Cilicia in 117 AD, and Trajan's wife, Plotina, signed uh, the papers of succession claiming Trajan uh, had selected Hadrian. As emperor, Hadrian had close relationship uh, with the troops, uh, so he had instantly the army support. And even if uh, the Roman Senate uh, had uh, wanted to, to question his succession, there was nothing uh, they could uh, have done. Hadrian was embarrassed uh, by the majority of the people of uh, Rome and uh, was greatly admired uh, throughout uh, the time he was the emperor. Hadrian had a really great building project. He visited Britannia in 122 AD and after the revolt had been put down, he ordered to build a long defensive wall to prevent easy invasion by the northern Picts. It's still preserved and called Hadrian's Wall. He established city, raised monuments and improved roads. In Rome, he rebuilt the Pantheon, which had been destroyed by fire. He built a Trajan Forum. The Pantheon uh, still perfectly preserved, and we will talk about uh, Pantheon in uh, one of future videos. This building called Caserma de Vigili, or Guard Barracks, the building may have provided housing for the service staff. Following his visit to Britannia, Hadrian went to Asia Minor and uh, traveled uh, to the region of Abitinia to inspect uh, the restoration of Nicomedia, the city that was damaged in an earthquake. Somewhere in this region, in 123 AD, he met uh, the young Continuous, uh, who became his almost constant companion for the next seven years. Antinous was around 13-15 years old at that time, but uh, same-sex uh, lesions uh, between older men and young boys uh, were acceptable in the Roman culture of that time. Hadrian arranged uh, for Antinous to be sent to a prestigious boarding school in Rome, and uh, the young man was Hadrian's beloved, living uh, with him in his villa and traveling with him uh, to the provinces. Hadrian and Antinous traveled together from 127 till 130 AD. In October 130 AD, they arrived to Egypt uh, to celebrate the festival of Osiris. But just before the festival, Antinous drowned in the Nile River. Hadrian reported this as an accident, but uh, there is also a version of ancient historians that Antinous uh, sacrificed himself in a ritual to cure Hadrian of an illness he had been suffering from the past few years. Hadrian's health seems to have improved afterwards, but his grief at uh, the loss of his lover and best friend was very deep. In 132 AD, Hadrian visited Jerusalem, which was uh, still in ruins from the First Roman Jewish War of uh, 66 uh, AD, 73 AD. He rebuilt the city according to his own design and uh, renamed it in Aelia Capitolina Jupiter Capitolinus, after himself and the king of the Roman gods. When he built uh, a temple to Jupiter on the ruins of the Temple of Solomon, uh, the second temple considered sacred uh, by the Jews, the popular rose up under the leadership of Simon Bar Kokhba. This revolt is known as the Bar Kokhba Revolt. Losses of both parts uh, in uh, this war were enormous. Over 1,000 towns and villages uh, were destroyed. Hadrian ordered uh, public burning of uh, Torah and prohibited the practice of uh, Judaism. The Bar Kokhba revolt is uh, one dark stain in the reign of Hadrian. When he started to have problems with his health, he returned to Rome and occupied in writing poetry. He named Antoninus Pius as his successor. Hadrian died in 138 AD, presumably of a heart attack, at the age of 62.
In the Hadrian's villa, there were two bath complexes. The great bath had a simple black and white mosaic and were used uh, by servants and slaves, and it uh, seems uh, that they were never finished to be built. A system of internal patch and access has completely isolated the great bath from the surrounding buildings. The canopus, uh, the large pool, is surrounded uh, by Roman-style colonnade with uh, classical Greek statues. The pool is over 120 meters long, uh, with uh, much of its original uh, statue remain. Statues include uh, the large-scale Greek uh, caryatid, uh, Neil crocodile, Neptune, and uh, she-wolf, uh, Sasquatch, uh, Romulus, and Remus. The long pool received its name from uh, the Canopus, canal near Alexandria in Egypt. It was a banquet space here.
the hundred chambers. Here this area of rooms. There are many different versions of uh, what this building was used for. Probably here lived uh, slaves or were storing supplies. Today this place called Stadium Garden. In the time of Hadrian this place was used uh, to host imperial audience, reception and uh, dinner parties. We in the small batches. Despite their name, the small batches represent one of the most lavish buildings of the residence. They were decorated with a great variety of precious marbles and mosaics, and they were probably used by the Emperor Hadrian himself. The small batches had uh, precious opus tactile pavements.
Hadrian's Mila is a masterpiece uh, that expresses the culture and ancient Mediterranean world. In 1999, it was included to the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The villa were created the spaces for ideal Roman city rich in elements of Roman architecture with Egyptian and Greek architectural elements. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, like the video and see you in the new interesting places.